Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for sharing this day with us. When I was asked to say a few words, I thought back to 13 years ago when Jenny and I took Gally to her first day of kindergarten. I remember her being excited and anxious of what lay ahead. I've watched with great pride as Ali has grown from that little girl, wide-eyed and naive to the world, to a smart and inspiring young woman. I remember the feeling I had watching Ali graduating from high school. And that feeling is returning today, right here in the speech. <laughs> That feeling that that part of your life uh, comes to an end, but a new and exciting one starts. In her senior year, Allie met Chandler, and I saw a new light in her. Uh, Chandler and I, I regret, haven't spent a lot of time together. But I see a familiarity in him that tells me why Allie chose him. He and I share a lot of similar views, and above all, we both love Allie with all our hearts. Chandler and I did go and see Mad Max before he left for the Army. And it holds a special memory for me because it was a rare occasion that the two of us did something, just the two of us. I think of it whenever I've watched the movie since. That small moment in time means a lot to me, even if Chandler doesn't necessarily share that feeling with me. <laughs> Life is small moments. Kindergarten, high school graduation, family trips, movies, or even game nights, making memories. At the time, it may not seem like much, but days or years later, their imprint is there. So today, we're here living a huge moment, a moment that you prepare for, and yet still hits you when it arrives. I know Jenny shares my feeling of happiness that Allie found Chandler or Chandler found Allie, <laughs> however you look at it. We are blessed that this fine young man has joined our family. Congratulations, Chandler and Allie. I love you. Cheers.